Hey everyone, I'm Boy the Gamer, and these are five things to do before Myths of Pandaria Remix ends. Before we dive in, just a quick reminder to hit the like and subscribe button if you like WoW content. As always, thank you for the support, and let's dive into this video. It's no secret the Mop Remix event has been a big success, giving you options to level up characters in a special way, bringing a new experience into an old environment. Which brings me to number one, level up fast. Okay, some will think this is the fun way to play and others will totally hate this method making you skip a lot of content. Basically, you will run away dungeons until you unlock raids. When you're running dungeons, you have to remind yourself not to loot the XP tokens from the boss fight, instead they go straight into your mailbox. So you run dungeons, you run raids for the XP bonus on your cloak. And once you hit about level 40 or 50, depending on your cloak's XP boost, you open up the mailbox and pop 70 fast. This should take about a good 4 hours to complete. This is the moment to level a character you want it to be 70 already, you know, an all you thought you'd never play, or something you always want to try out. This is it. I'll leave a link in the description with a leveling guide for mob remix using this method. Number 2. Buy all the mugs, mounts and mob of remix goodies now. The Infinite Bazaar is a wonderful market selling various items. Your Mist of Pandaria transmog sets, mounts, toys and more. Grind that bronze and buy everything you want right now. Some mounts can be bought that otherwise require a grindy boss kill with a low drop chance. Same goes for armor transmogs or toys, so the time is now to complete your collection. Remember, leveling up a character fast or slow rewards 30,000 bronze and you get a nice amount of bronze along the way as well. Besides leveling up to get a bronze, you can easily look up a bronze farming video. Number 3. The Astral Emperor Serpent Get this mount before Mop Remix ends. It's an easy achievement to complete, especially if you have several characters already. The achievement we're looking for is Veil of Eternal Blossoms. It's a two-part challenge that anyone can complete. I'll leave a link in the description with my video on how to get this mount in case you want more details. Number 4. Get the Grand Wyvern and Griffin mount. You can get these two mounts, one for each faction, by completing one questline with one character. You can do this quest alone or in party, and it takes less than 2 hours to complete. There's 60 quests to do, and a lot of traveling back and forth in Pandaria, and even some interesting places within Azeroth. I'll leave a link in the description for my video on how to get these mounts in case you wanted more details. So far I've been talking about rushing through MOP and getting this and that quite a lot. Which brings me to number 5. Take your time to adventure through Mists of Pandaria Remix. The event is closing soon, create a character on both factions, trust me give this one a try. Enjoy the zones of Pandaria, run the story questline on both sides of the faction and explore the lore. Complete the achievements and discover new things or places you might have forgotten. Visit the factions, get exalted and gain new mounts, toys and other goodies you might not have collected before. I guess all I wanna say is, enjoy the mob remix. Well folks, that's all for today, as always thank you for watching and see you in my next video.